question. And we're, we, we're going to do some episodes on this. And we've done this before. Uh, really broad topic. Uh, thanks for a great show. Do you guys think about to utilize dread on a regular basis? Yes, 100%. But it's not in the way you might think, at least if I'm answering the question. It's one of those things. It's like, it's like the rules of Fight Club. What is the first rule of Fight Club? You don't talk about I don't it. Don't talk about Fight Club. Rule? rule? Don't talk yep. about it. And the third rule? Don't talk about it. Exactly. Oh, no. So it, in regards to your relationship, she will not know this is what this is about. And it is not about ultimatums. That's the very end. So really do your homework on dread because a better way of putting it is female competition anxiety can be extremely useful when properly when the groundwork is properly laid out. Why is it so useful? Because it, 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 it gives her the sense that you are the absolute best mate she could possibly hope for. And then that closes the, the door and the instincts to look for a better mate, or at least slows them down. Yeah. Um, and, it's the, and guys always get it wrong. They go to the part where uh, there's the ultimatum. Uh, if you're not fucking me, then fuck you. And, and then they don't back it up. And, and they think this is the weirdest, most harshest thing. When a woman hears this, this sounds like the worst possible thing ever. But when a woman experiences this, she's ride or die and loves you to death. Masculinity is in crisis. What are we to do? We need to acquire a dominant masculine presence. Now available on Amazon, masculinity is in crisis. Men's masculine behaviors and traits have been suppressed by popular culture. Why has it become so popular to shame, guilt, insult, masculinity, and masculine behaviors? After 50 to 70 years of this has resulted in a very large subset of men who have become weak, useless, and crisis. Pathetic state for boys and men that leads to depression and violent despair. A dominant masculine presence addresses this very dilemma for the individual man and it firmly establishes why this is what is desperately needed by the individual man today. In this book, clearly defined masculine traits and behaviors and the emotional durability provided by traditional masculinity are presented as a guide to what every man should embed into his identity. Putting these principles and behaviors into practice will motivate and direct your path step to step to create for yourself an authentic dominant masculine presence. Thank <laughs> you.